H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so we will write it here in the summary. Bombino Express rates, rates option does not appear under our services. Just one line you write the summary here. Okay, now tell me to whom am I going to assign it to? To whom should we assign this one? Whom do you assign the defects? Developers, right? So you got to assign the defect to the developer. Assume that James is our developer. So we select James here and assign it to James. Okay. James is the developer who has developed this and we assign it to James. Next, we have the category here. Defect, functionality suggestion, security issue, user interface suggestion. Okay. See UI suggestion means Suchita it is user interface suggestion. Okay. If you want to give any kind of suggestion to the developer you give here UI suggestion or let us say functionality suggestion. Maybe there is a small button you want to have a big button over there or you know the link is appearing in some different location you want it in a different location. So the user interface related graphical user interface related suggestion you want to give you can go for the, this one. Security issue if you want to I, uh, you want to report you can give it as a security issue. If you want to give the functionality suggestion you give the functionality suggestion but this is a defect. So you select defect. Clear? Okay. So it is a defect. Is that clear everybody? So it is a defect because the software is not working as per our expectation means what? It is a defect. Okay. 
it is not a, a functional defect um, rena it is a functional suggestion if you want to give any kind of suggestion to your developer you can choose it but we are creating a defect here So you choose a defect here. Do you see there is a first option? We are reporting a defect. Choose a defect. Okay. Then after that, in which version it was identified? Okay. So let's say it was identified in version 1.01 .01 of the application. You choose the version over here. Is it clear all of you? Okay, can you tell me what is the estimated fix time? Estimated fix time. How much time do you require to fix the defect? We do not know that, right? It is the developer who should decide how much time he wants to fix the defect, right? So you leave it as blank, correct? So you do not know how much time is required to fix the defect, so you leave it as blank. In which version do you want to close the defect? Do you know in which version he is going to close the defect? So leave this as blank. Okay. The name of the project, it should be the application. And then whether it is reproducible or not. Can you tell me what do you mean by reproducible? Yes, the defect appears every time you execute the steps. Correct? The defect is repeating every time you execute the steps. We call it as a reproducible defect. So, we should mark it as yes if it is repeating. Okay, tell me what is the status. Do you remember the defect life cycle? We have the closed, fixed, new, open, rejected, reopen. Which one should I select? New defect or open defect? You are a tester, not a developer. It's a new defect. Okay. You have seen the defect for the first time and you are trying to report it. You say it as a new defect. Correct? So choose the new defect. Which is a browser that we used? 
so you should choose the browser in which we did the testing detected by alex it is taken by default the detected date it has taken the automatic date then we have the language we have the priority regression severity and subject okay can you tell me what is the difference between the priority and severity what is the difference between priority and severity Yes what is the difference between priority and severity See priority means how quickly it should be fixed Okay what is priority it should be fixed okay then we have the severity here severity is how much it affects the system is it clear this is what you have given the answer priority means how quickly it should be fixed severity means how much it is affecting the system so choose the priority and severity then there is a regression here and there is a no there is yes what kind of testing are we doing is this a regression testing that we are doing this is a functional right so regression is no we have the subject here we are testing on the bombino express it is here select it click on the okay button so we have filled out all the fields now and here we will write the description so in the description again the same thing we start with the precondition test steps test data expected actual comments if you have any okay So first of all what is the precondition Bombino Express home page load write the test case id test steps move the mouse over the our services test data is nothing leave it blank expected is the rates option should appear what is the actual the rates 
is not appearing under our services there are no comments that we have to make i do not have any comments so i leave it as blank is it clear everybody so you have to describe your defect completely yes and after this click on the submit button if you click on the submit button it gets submitted so do you see here defect number 98 submitted is it clear everyone Yes is it clear all of you How to report the defect So this is how you need to do the execution and report the defect Geeta I clicked on the submit button. Do you see there is a submit button after filling out all the details? I clicked on the submit button. Yes, okay. They are reproducible means every time you are executing the steps, the same defect will get repeated. For example every time you move the mouse pointer over the our services the rates is not going to appear we call it as a reproducible defect for the steps you get the same results okay clear you are not going to send anything uh, okay you want to send the screenshot you can take it here and attach it here in the attachments okay sabita click on the print screen button take the image of that and then you can send it through the attachments okay it had appeared geeta the moment i clicked on the submit it appeared okay See here, Sabita. I'll show you how to do the attachment and how to take a screenshot. Okay. See, to take a screenshot, there will be a print screen button on your keyboard. So you need to press on that print screen button. Okay. After you press on the print screen button, you should go to the paint, or you can also use a word document and you can paste it over here. Do you see? There is a paint, and then you click it like this, so it will get pasted. the print screen you have to click on your keyboard and after that go to the paint go to the word document wherever you want you have to save it okay and after you save it it will be saved here on your desktop or somewhere you should come to the defect here and then you have the attachment click on the attachment do you know how to do the attachment in your emails yes sabita you know how to do the attachments right same way click on this attachments select the file click on the open button it gets attached this is it same like you do it in your emails is it clear 
okay fine now all of you start executing the steps that i have said you from the test lab and then the defects i hope all of you have noted down the steps so follow the steps in case you have any doubts please let me know okay we are going to continue till 8:30 another uh, 25 minutes we will continue so any doubts you can ask yes madhuri that camera thing also you can use okay you want that also you can use Okay so everybody start using it okay and then you have any questions you can start asking Okay all of you start with these steps and if you have any doubts you can please ask in the test lab do we write the observation that we wrote in the comment section yes in the actual itself you write it jelna okay Okay fine no problem Reena you do the execution also on the store locator that's okay if the defect is there we have to do all these procedure today we have assumed the rates does not appear that is correct rohini okay sure karishma i'm going to unmute you now and you can please ask your question Yes, Karishma. Okay, you can ask your question, please. Tell me. Yes, hi, Priya. Can yeah, Priya, I have a, a doubt about the one the starting. We started with the test lab about what is test case. You said it is a set of test cases, right? So, what do you mean by set of test cases? Is like when I am doing about Bombino Express and I read a set of test cases. Say, uh, in international, I am doing valid, invalid. I said test so set only, uh, Karishma. I did not say test case set. I have said test set only. In the test set, it is nothing but group of the test cases that we created in the test lab. Test set. Yes, it is set. Test case is different, test right? Test set. Do you remember right, we had discussed in the manual testing? Right. Okay, so in the manual test testing, test? in the implementation and execution, do you remember? Have you gone through those I videos? Remember. Yes. Yes, yes, I remember that. But what is test set? Can you tell me uh, one second? That's what you know. We had discussed during manual testing. You forgot. It is group of test cases. okay it's a group of test cases test yes. set is a group of test cases correct okay 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 so the next question is like if we call if we set call to then in the test plan what is uh, what like if you have already set there and we are calling back again so then how will it work sorry i didn't get your question can you please repeat it was like if we the last module that we discussed test lab yesterday right test no, no test, test lab, lab we discussed today test plan i mean it is a test plan in the test plan if i set as call to right what you taught yesterday and then again here if i'm linking the test lab to the test cases then how will it call it like do we have to do both the things like calling it over there in the test plan and then again uh, like 
Like no, so you, you can do either, of, arrow, either right? of the thing. There is no need to do both of them. Do either of them. Okay. Either you call either it there. Them. Okay. Yes, call it there, or you know here you add it. Once it should get executed, right? Okay. So if I try to do both the things, then it will give me error. It will not give you error, but it will appear twice. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try that. And the third thing is that if defect say is that testing it different different defects, right? Karishma, so your um, audio had testing. your audio had gone for a moment. Can you please repeat? Your audio had gone for right. a moment. I'll repeat again. I'm asking in defect. Mm -hmm. Right when I'm reporting the defect, okay. okay. So when I've written a set of test cases, say mm -hmm. uh, in international, I was testing valid, invalid, blank values, right? right. So I'll say valid is working, invalid mm -hmm. is working, but the blank was not working. So mm -hmm. how do I report that individual defect for that test case name? See, you are not reporting it for a test case name, right? You take a defect, and defect is an independent module. So go to the defects module, click the new defect mm -hmm. and then mention in the summary that the blank it is failing. You write it uh, in one line and report the defect. So you are not mentioning the test case name there. Where did we mention okay. the test case name? We did not mention okay, it. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 I got it. Okay. okay, okay, that's good. I believe I'll try these all things then I'll ask you anything. Sure. Other question arises. Okay, okay thank you. Fine. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Okay, then next we have uh, Deepa. Okay, Deepa, I will unmute you. You can please ask your question. Yes, Deepa, what is your question? Uh, hi, Priya. Uh -huh. Hi, Deepa. Uh, uh, can you see my screen now? Sure, I'll make you the presenter. Please show me your screen. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, can you see my screen, Priyana? Yes, I can see it. Yeah, like for this, when I do for the blank input for the Bombay Express International, mm -hmm. uh, like I'm not able to call the test over here for this, like uh, uh, B underscore rates link. Mm -hmm. Like if I call the test, Oh no, this one. Okay. Like I have to, uh, when I'm doing this, the OK button is not activating over here. See, there is one um, checkbox, do you see? Show only template test. It means that you are saying it to only show the folder names. You should uncheck that checkbox, then all the test cases will start getting displayed. Okay. Oh, and then I have to select over here country USA, right? Yes, select it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, thank you, Priya. And one more thing is, like for some parameters, when I'm asking uh, uh, to give it for weight or height, it is saying no more parameters can be added into it. Okay, show me. Yeah. Yeah, see, like for this, yeah, one second. Oh no. Okay. This is steps, right? Yeah, and for this weight, mm -hmm. when I say, okay, it is saying cannot add parameter at this position. Okay, click on the OK button. So you place the mouse pointer on some different location and try to add it because you know sometimes it gives this kind of error. It is some issue with the quality center. We are not sure. You place your mouse pointer at a different location and try. It will give you. Okay. okay so I can uh, do over here and see. Yes. And then later you paste it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Priya. Okay. Yeah, that is the issue with yeah. quality center, nothing to do with, you know, this thing. Okay, okay, yeah, thank you so much.
Okay, so this, uh, uh, okay, Divya, Divya, I didn't unmute you, right? Okay, Divya, I will unmute you and you can tell me what is the doubt that you have. Yes, Divya, please tell me what is the question that you have. Hello, Priya. Hello, Divya. Uh, in this uh, morning test lab, um, as you were telling test set, uh, okay. As I understood, uh, I want to tell, uh, is it right or wrong, can you please suggest? Uh, test set means I have understood a valid, uh, as uh, our rates, our services, all these came in one set. Um, I want to make an example like valid, invalid, blank, all these three will come in uh, one set. Yes, you can add it in one set. And like, uh, um, what is that, uh, def uh, default. Mm -hmm. If there is like those options like default, uh, USA as default country, India as default country, all these comes in one set. Okay, you can create, you know, see test set, you decide how you want to create it. Okay, sometimes we add okay. more test cases into a test set and now whatever you are telling, you know, we have those as a test cases, right? So yes, we mm -hmm. can create them as one test set. Okay, like I want to share my screen and uh, how to, I want to share my screen and I want to uh, show how to start up, uh, start up with, because when I gave the screen um, uh, select test, uh, uh, I, I gave, uh, I clicked on the select test, uh, so then I got uh, these execution grid, execution flow, Test set properties. Um, so when I click on execution flow, I'm not having anything there. Like um, as you showed in your screen, we could see those three uh, three things, and then we um, click uh, as you thought. Like double click on the execution rates, uh, Bambino Express rates, and all to come down. That I could not see in my screen. Those will come, Divya, only if you have added the test cases. Now, you have not added the test cases. How will it show the flow? Do you see in your test set, there are no test cases at all. You should add the test cases first. Then you should be able to get the flow. How to go to that screen, Priya? Like, how execution to go grid. Please go to the execution grid. Okay. And here we should write. Here no, itself. You should click on the select test. You did not note down the steps? I have note down. Okay. Then after creating the test set, test set, what is the next step? It is clicking on the select test. And do you see on the right side, you get the test plan tree with all the list of test cases. So you take those test cases and then add it here into your execution grid. So where did you create? In your test plan, you should have the test cases, right? Bombino Express, where are they? No, this one is like SkyTab I was using. Just uh, I, have, I have created some yesterday. It is always going off. Whatever I do, it is not there in the uh, link. When I click on the link, uh, that was the problem. But still, I was just trying with some what is there itself. Sorry, I didn't get you what you do not have. Actually, whenever I do uh, the cases and all, I wrote and kept for Bambino Express Currency Converter. But uh, as I'm using the Sky tab, uh, when I this, the next day when I go to the link, uh, all the things, whatever I have done, it will not be the currency converter. Today, I'm not finding at all what I did yesterday. Okay, that is because you know many of them will be using your Sky tab, right? It is a right. That's why. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so what I was uh, doing for practice, what is there at least simply I was just seeing how to use it. So, I was, I, there is no test cases at all in this, uh, today whatever I have. Oh, okay. So, uh, there will be some, uh, let me assume there will be some test case in the test plan tree. I should uh, just uh, drag it or I should click on the arrow. Add tests or test sets, okay. 
you should select the test case first of all then only you can add it okay okay select the test case then you can add it okay priya okay if you are selecting it as a folder you know what should it add right got it Okay. But that Bambino Express, I'm not finding at all here in the test plan tree. Also, that name name itself, I'm not able to find it. Yeah, that uh, I'm not sure you what to do. You have to, yeah, you have to create it because you know it has got deleted because many people will be using your sky type, right? So maybe it has mm -hmm. got deleted in the test plan. So you create it in the test plan, then it will appear here in the test plan tree. Select it and select the test case one at a time. Click on the green color button. It will get added. Mm -hmm. Okay. After that, uh, I should see the execution flow. It will be uh, showing the flow, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay, Priya. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Sabita, here is your question. What is a test case? Okay. See, test case means it is the individual test case that we were writing. Do you see here? These are our, uh, our documents, right? So here, test case means each of this one here, do you see? International country, USA, all these, okay? Do you see here? Test case ID we have given. These are the test case names. So each one of these are nothing but the test cases. Group of test cases called as the test set. Means you can group all these test cases into one set and we call it as a test set. We can assign the entire set to one tester so that all the test cases can be executed at a time. Okay, in the same flow he can complete the execution process of the test cases. Is it clear, Savita, what is a test case? Are you there, Savita? Savita, are you there? Okay. Fine. Then after this, we have uh, one more question. Okay, show again how to attach the defects. Okay, somebody is using my computer. Okay, I'll uh, tell you Rohini, you can note down if you want the steps. Sorry, who is this? Um, Praveena, right? Okay, see here Praveena. Show the defects attachment and how did it come from? First of all, you know, you have to get ready with the file wherein you have taken the image or a screenshot. Okay, and after that, you should do the attachment to the defect, there will be an attachment button, right? Like you have in your email, there will be a pin symbol. So you click on that pin symbol and then you can select a file, click on the OK button and then you can do the attachment. Okay, just look for that pin symbol and you can do the attachment. Then, what will happen if we write wrongly the precondition steps etc. at the time of execution? Rohini, you will lose the flow of execution, okay? You give some unrelated precondition, try to execute the steps. You will not be able to execute or, you know, it will start showing you the defect, okay? What's the defect attachment Praveena was asking? Okay, she was asking how to make an attachment. Means, for example, let's say there is any defect. We take a screenshot of that defect and then we make an attachment, okay, Rohini? So these were the questions that I had. Now we will meet in the next class. So next class is going to be on Monday. We will meet on Monday 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay. And we will discuss on further features of the quality center. Clear everybody? Okay then. So take care everyone and have a good night. Good weekend. Okay, if
emphasis provides world class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K emphasis how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.